Hello everybody, Wenka, welcome. Uh, hello everybody, welcome to channel traveling with Russell. But today uh, we traveling with Jen, and today uh, we walked in Moscow region area in Aprilivka, and I want to show you uh, how to get water from outside Russian Spring. Uh, its name is Kalonka. I don't know how it's translated in English, uh, I just want to show you. Let's go! <laughs> now, just to give you an idea of where we live, you can see just off in the distance there the apartment building. We're up on the 10th level out of 14. And then actually this sort of suburban area where we are here has some traditional family homes kind of mixed in with what they call dachas, which is kind of like a country house or a holiday house. So this has become a lot more modernized where we are here, but there's still some older dachas mixed in here. And you'll see one right in front of me right here. So yeah, it's a very basic brick and wood home. This one actually has a metal roof. And then they've even got their uh, chair set up there now that the weather's nice and warm. Okay, so we've not walked too far. It's only uh, about 10 minute walk from where we live. And I'm here now with Jen and we found the Kolodka. We actually know where this is because occasionally we use it, not very often. Now, Jen, uh, you were telling me that you used this when you were much younger, yes? Yes, I used this when I uh, was like five years old and I live with my grandparents in the region of Ufa uh, and we use this a lot. but. Uh, it's only one minus, minus uh, of this water. This is water we sent, by the way. We sent. Okay, so the water is not basically purified, is what you're yes. saying? Yes, it's water not purified. Okay, now, so Jen's going to show us what to do yeah, to get the kolodka. Now, the only thing is, there might be a bit of splashing here, so let's check this out. You've got to put a bit of pressure here, and then. Really very, very cold water. Uh-huh, cold water. And basically the idea is now we're walking back to the apartment. So the only bad part about this is you fill this up to the top and then you have to carry these then back however far you live from the water source. Now, Jen, uh, you were telling me also now, why do we not see many of these around where we live? Because government of Aprilivka want for people pay for water, not just take for free from Kalonka. So that's why. Right. So basically these were used in Soviet times. I mean, this has probably been here a lot of years and uh, we got ourselves how many liters of water? Five liters of water. Now who's carrying this back to the house? Oh, Jen's even going to taste test it. How does it taste? Jen? It's okay, but I prefer like this coin first. Yeah, so, so yeah, normally we're... Oh, going to be expensive. Yeah, so we're basically just seeing if we can uh, make do with drinking the water from the Kolodka versus buying it from the store. So, how did it taste? Tastes nice, but need try to taste when it will be warmer, because you feel taste more when it's warmer. All right, so we've got our bottle ready to walk on home. Jen's gonna take it now and uh, I think I'll end up carrying it eventually, but she's gonna head off down the street to go home. And then actually there's a pretty interesting house right here, right opposite this Kolodka. So they're pretty lucky. They've got the water right here. They'll actually also have town water in their house as well. So they probably wouldn't necessarily use this too much. But what I wanna show you is up on the roof here, They've actually repurposed their roof. I'm sure this is from years ago and it's probably not used anymore, but they put like a small aviary around their kind of attic. And I imagine, I'm not too sure, but I imagine they were keeping some kind of birds in there or they were also using it as a trap for the, for the birds. And they'd probably make some pigeon pie at some point, Russian style. Thanks everybody for watching uh, channel Traveling with Russell, but today it's Traveling with Jen. Uh, and please put comments uh, 
in your video put thumbs up and uh, let me know if you want to see me in other videos. Uh, thank you! Bye!